Hey guys, I hope you guys are all doing super well. Um, today I am gonna just do a chill video. I am back in my linen closet. I've been back from Malta for a while now, but um, I thought I would do part two of my Chanel collection. I did part one quite a while ago. Um, I can't remember when now, it's been a while, and I said I was gonna do part two and then never got around doing it. Um, so I thought I would do it now. Um, especially because I did add a new one to my collection um, from the most recent collection. I did buy it pretty much on the day it dropped in London um, because obviously I asked when the new collection was coming in. I have already shared this bag on my Instagram, which is at Women's Stokes if you guys aren't following yet and would like to. Um, I generally do share things on my Instagram a lot earlier than I do on my YouTube channel um, just because for videos I like to either accumulate and wait or I um, wait till like there's a video where it's appropriate to share it. Um, I guess it's because I just don't really do unboxing videos. Um, for me, if I watch an unboxing video, I kind of like skip to the bag because like I'm not. I personally am not really interested in seeing the unboxing part. I just want to see the actual bag or the actual item. That's why I like to accumulate things and just show it all in one video as opposed to like split it up into multiple. But um, I mean teach their own but I mean I'm open to suggestions so let me know what you guys think anyways I'm gonna jump right into this video and then um, at the end I will share the newest addition to the uh, collection again this is not in any particular order also um, I don't particularly know the names of a lot of the bags um, sorry there's like a builder outside <laughs> Ooh, awkward um, also, what was the last thing? Yeah, hopefully these are all different ones that I shared in the last video or else that's awkward. I hope these are all different. So I'm starting off with the minis. I have one, two, three, and four. So I've got four rectangular minis. Um, they're my favorite minis out of the square mini and the rectangular mini. Um, I just think they're like an actual smaller size of a classic flap. and. I don't know, I just feel like I just prefer the rectangular shape more. Um, two of them are the chevron print, or sorry, the quilting, and the other one has just a classic quilt. Um, this one was bought off of the Real Real when I was in America. I bought this and got it sent to my friend's place. On, out of all my Chanel bags, I honestly do pull from my Chanel minis a lot. Um, just compared to the other ones just because they're just perfect for all occasions um for like running errands i pull for this when i'm like going out for dinner i don't need very much i take this one and on vacation a lot of time i bring the, one of these um sorry the light's kind of going in and out right now <laughs> it's london i'm not sure i mean i hope it's actually better lighting now. Hopefully it stays. We'll see. <laughs> there are so many variations of this and it's always so fun to collect. I am trying to stop collecting them just because I do have quite a few now, but they do get their use. And on top of that, I feel like they fit almost just the same amount as like a, a small classic flap. And these are just a lot more affordable than the classic flap. So that's why I think I go for these a lot. But, um, but yeah, so this is a really gorgeous like green one. It's not forest green, it's almost like a dark seafoam green, I guess. And like I said, this one was my first one. I love this one, the color so vibrant. This is a patent one. And then there's the velvet green one that I got off of Real Real. It looks like it's dirty. Like, I just realized when I pulled this up, this looks super dirty. I promise you guys, it really is not like that. Like, it's just the way the velvet sits or something that it looks super dirty. I feel like I remember seeing a lot of these on the second hand market in lots of different colors. I think yellow and pink or, or sorry, coral color. Um, and the, when the pictures were taken, they did look like this. So you, you people thought it was like super dirty, but it really isn't. Like I, I'm looking at it now and it is like perfectly fine. I guess that when the Rewo took pictures of this, they did a good job. Um, at, yeah, because I mean, obviously, because it's secondhand, it is a little bit used. I mean, I don't know, like, a lot of this might be me as well. But it definitely does not look like that. It is, like, clean. It is so weird that it shows up like that. Anyway, and then my last one is oop, this yellow mini, which I absolutely love. Next is this really cute little tweed pink one. 
Um, I definitely shared this in a haul. I bought it mainly because of this wooden detail at the top as well as the CC. I think that's super cool. I don't have any Chanel bags or any bags in general with wooden detail. So that's why I really, really wanted to get this. There is a back pocket. This one has two, com or sorry, three compartments. One main one, one at the back. Oh wait, there's a pocket at the back here as well where my card is at and then this middle bit here, which I don't think I ever really use. Um, actually, I just pretty much only use this bit here. I guess you could tuck your strap behind here and use it as a clutch, although I've never done that before. I like that the colors work well for like more of like the hotter months, but the materials on this um, is good for the winter months, so this will carry me through London very well. Next we have these two. They're the same style but different material. I bought this one in London right around Chinese New Year. Um, I bought it because, well not because it's red, but I chose the red one because it's Chinese New Year and red is a lucky color and I don't know, this is like a little red envelope, right? It's not an envelope, but the ideas there kind of thing. And then this one my mom got me recently when I was back in Asia and I've been using this so, so, so much, especially because the weather here has been so good. This has matched like almost all my outfits. I absolutely love this. Honestly, this is such an odd color combination, but that's what I love about this. And I've gotten lots of compliments using this, including um, compliments when I go to Chanel because sales associates say that they haven't seen this in London. So this is definitely either like um, exclusive to Singapore because that's where my mom bought it or Asia. So yeah, they never saw this um, combination. So that's kind of cool. So I have these, oops, I have these two. They're literally, they literally just have a big, hole in the middle and then a card compartment there which I never use besides for my authenticity card. But besides using those minis, these are probably the second most used bags in my collection at the moment. So next I'm going to share some metallics. The first one is the silver one. Um, I bought this literally because I was thinking that I really wanted a silver Chanel bag because it's like really close to um, a white bag which works with so much. I bought my cla my white classic and used that insanely much. And I wanted a silver one because it's more like a transition for day and evening, I believe. Um, so I love this one. This one has the gold and gunmetal um, strap, which is really, really cool. And I know this is like, I guess, more of a backpack, but I definitely wear it all both in one, on one shoulder, both straps on one shoulder. I never wear this as a as a backpack. Um, I'm not a backpack kind of person. And yeah, I love this bag a lot actually. So it's got a big compartment on the inside as well as, yeah, a card compartment at the back there. That's it. I thought it had another compartment, but I guess not. I think because of its backpack style, it makes this bag like much more more casual to wear during the daytime but because it's like this metallic gorgeous like silver bag it also works for the nighttime so that's why I love about this bag and I love how structured it is that's nice I mean it's less structured at the top but the bottom it's got a really solid base which I really, really enjoy next we have this gold python bag in this stunning, stunning, stunning gold. I love this bag super much because this reminds me of a little money boat. Um, like it's like a lucky charm in a lot of Asian homes. And yeah, it's got that like shape to it. I think someone reminded me of that and I was like, oh my God, yes. Again, with the really structured bottom bit. I forget what this bag is called, but it's a very popular style. And I did not jump on the bandwagon for a long, long time until I decided I really wanted a gold Chanel bag and I saw this one and fell in love. So I chose this one. I honestly do like the idea that you can wear it kind of crossbody with the two straps as well as just on one shoulder. And again, with the gold and gun metal. Oh, and silver. Gold, gun metal, and silver chain. I don't know if you can really tell the difference, but I can see this is gold. This is gunmetal and this is silver. I think you can see the difference. We'll see. Out of all the exotic leathers, Python is my favorite. And I remember Chanel saying that they were going to discontinue using exotic leathers, which I fully, fully, fully support. Um, but I did go out to get this last one before they discontinued. 
Next we have this bag and I bought this for one of my birthdays. I can't remember um, which birthday it was, it was a couple years ago. And I bought this because I had bought a previous bag from Chanel. It was a square mini and it was a very similar color to this. I think I got that one for my 19th birthday, I remember because um, I went to Paris for that. And um, I used that bag so, so, so much on that trip. and many other trips and one day I realized how dirty it was at the back especially it was disgusting it was like completely just worn and used I didn't um pay attention basically and I didn't send it back to Chanel to get um cleaned I can't remember the website I sent it to it was a couple years ago actually um but I sent it's basically another type of handbag spa which they can also clean your bag or they can um color your bag like completely change the color of your bag when I sent it off I asked for them to dye the bag um, a dark dark green like a dark forest green and I even sent like a, a photo of the green that I liked and they did mention it's gonna probably be darker than that which it is it's definitely it almost looks black um, it definitely looks black at nighttime but in the light it's like a very dark 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 green I still use that bag I don't mind it it's still cute but of course um, I didn't have this color anymore and I missed it so for my birthday one year I um, saw that they had this bag um, they had quite a few colors, I guess, and I picked this one so I could have the green back in my collection. This is a much more flimsy bag, which I don't really love about this. It's got two compartments and a zip compartment at the back. But it's got a lot of same features as the um, classic Chanel, but it's obviously very different. Um, and there's no pocket at the back, which I think they should have put that um, at the back. I mean, my main thing is I wish this was a bit more sturdier, but I don't mind. I still love the color and yeah, it's got like the same strap situation except there's like a piece of leather at the top there. Next is a bag I don't think a lot of people know I own, mostly because I don't use it very often and also because um, I guess you could say this is a bit of a dated style bag, but it is this, ooh, this one right here. And I did get this second hand, I got this off of Vestier, and um, like I said, I'm not showing these bags in order, so, because um, I feel like I'm showing a lot of green bags for some reason. I got this bag before any of my other green bags, um, purely because of the color. I love this pistachio green, and I loved patent. And basically, I remember in high school when I first got introduced to Chanel, um, I this was kind of like the it bag. Um, I think Blake Lively was uh, modeling for this bag, and I thought she looked really fabulous with it so at that time I don't think I owned any Chanel bags so obviously I started off my collection with collecting classics um, anyways at one point I decided I really actually wanted to add this into my collection um, like most fashion trends they do recycle and go around so hopefully this will be back in trend I feel like with the Bottega Veneta kind of um, baguette or sorry what are they called like dumpling bags they're like really big right now it's kind of like the same shape um, just a different type of um, leather and quilting but it's like got that same shape so hopefully this goes back around and I definitely will still keep this in my collection I just am waiting for the right time to bring it out again it actually is such a convenient bag and it fits so much again you can wear um, on one shoulder or with one strap and yeah it's just got two or two compartments on the side and a main one in the middle which is the compartment that I usually use when I was using this, I found this bag super convenient and I really, really liked it. So um, I definitely will bring this back into my bag rotation soon. So it's got a little charm there, nothing else, and it's in immaculate condition. And I remember getting it for an insanely great price, probably because it's not like a classic bag and probably because it like was kind of going out of style. So I got this for a really great deal, I remember. So I'm really happy that I have this in my collection. Next is a classic flap, and it's this one. It's the only classic flap I'm gonna share in this video. And um, I shared this in my haul video recently. I love this bag, and I cannot wait to be using this so much because of the amazing weather. Um, I bought this bag for many reasons. One, being the umbrella print. I think I already mentioned I love, love, love umbrella, umbrella. I just love umbrellas or even just photographs of umbrellas. Whenever I'm on vacation, especially in Italy or like anywhere with like rows and rows of umbrellas, I always take a million one pictures of them because I just love it. And I think I also mentioned that I even like buy books of umbrella photo uh, photographs. It's kind of weird. But so I'm glad that they came out with a bag <laughs> with umbrella prints. I think it's super cool. And I love that the base is white. I absolutely love white Chanel bags. I have quite a few, but my white classic flap is one um, of my most used bags and I absolutely love that one. So I'm glad I have this one for 
a different um, alternative and yeah this is such a great bag I've used it a couple times but I'm just waiting for summer to fully kick in to um, start using this bag so this one next is this gorgeous bag and it is actually my mom's my mom bought it for herself but I keep borrowing it and I keep using it I keep taking it from her so it's kind of made its way to my collection for now um, until she kind of um, misses it basically which honestly this has been sitting in her closet for so long she, I'm, I have not seen her use it in so long so I don't think she misses it quite that much but um, it is just a tote I guess this is such a great travel bag for me the size is perfect for that and again it's, it's got the python at the front here and the rest is just normal leather there's no pocket at the back which I always think Chanel bags should always have that classic pocket at the back but that's okay there's one at the front with a little charm there it's got three main compartments one two and then the middle bit here and then there oh there's a pen in here but there's also a little zip pocket at the back I actually don't own a lot of like just plain black bags so um this one really comes in handy in my collection because this is actually looking now the only kind of plain black bag i own besides my classic flap and this is definitely much more casual even with the python bit it's much more casual than carrying on my classic flap so yeah i love this one a lot and this also is very reminiscent of their shopping shoppers totes shopper tote is it called a shopper tote? The very classic with the massive CC in the middle that everyone and their mother got. Um, I personally didn't like that um, that style of bag. I didn't like the massive CC in the middle. Um, so I'm glad that she got this one. It's very like kind of similar shape and idea with the um, strap and all. Um, I think, I don't know if the other one, if the shopper tote had the top handle. And yeah, I absolutely love this bag and hopefully my mom doesn't take it back. <laughs> Next is another massive tote. This one is, I don't know the name of this one, sorry. But it's a very popular style. Mine is in orange and I use this one for the beach. I absolutely love this bag so much. It works perfectly for the beach or the pool. It fits my towel, fits everything that I need. My um, little pouch with all of my lotions and tanning stuff. So I really like the size of this bag for it. And it's looking pretty okay. Even though I brought this to the beach, I laid it on the sand. Um, it does look a little bit more dirty, but it's fine. It's not, it's not, it's not bad at all. Again, I love that you have both options because a lot of time after the beach, well, for example, in Malta, I brought this to Malta, um, we would walk around the city. So it's nice to have this to swing it over my shoulder so I don't have to carry it like this all the time, which a lot of beach bags only have this kind of short handle. So, um, yeah. Okay guys, we're down to the last bag and this is the newest item into my collection and like I said, I bought this on the day it launched in London and I finally got myself this cocoa handle. I think it's called a cocoa handle. Um, this style bag, which again is another very popular Chanel um, style of bag, but um, I finally added one to my collection and of course the reason I added this one is for the amazing beautiful color as soon as I saw this color I was like completely sold I love this gorgeous like mermaidy blue it's metallic it's got the matte gold hardware with the strap that's detachable of course it's got the pocket at the back and two big main compartments as well as the middle one there i'm just so in love with this bag it's so me and this sits currently sits very proudly at the very top of my shelf or my bag shelf and i'm just like staring at it all the time because i love the color and it's so pretty so this bag obviously comes in this size and one size smaller the minier one and usually i would go for the mini one just because i think it's cuter but after considering i decided to get the bigger one just because one i have so many chanel minis and to be honest like i said they're so convenient i use them all the time and they fit all my essentials but if i want to bring a little more with me they don't fit for example my camera or maybe a snack or something it just won't fit in the mini so i just ended up getting the bigger one um, just to have some variety in sizes in my collection instead of having a bunch of mini bags yeah i love that you can fit a lot more in here it came in very handy i brought this to a balmain event the other night and um we were given some we were given this box 
with a little bracelet in there. It's just like a little freebie. And I had like a drink in my hand, just my phone in the other, and I just had so much on me. So I was able to put things inside my bag so I don't have it in my hand like I would if I had a mini. Um, so I put the freebie inside so I had free hands, which is really nice. So yeah, I am enjoying free hands. <laughs> I mean, not that this is a very easy bag to use every day because of the color, but um, I don't care. I love it. It's such a cool, like, vibrant bag. So that sums up part two of my uh, Chanel handbag collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, do hit the thumbs up button. I'll really, really appreciate it. Um, and leave any comments down below if you guys have any future video requests or um, if you guys have any comments about the bags I've shared or any questions. Also, um, any other kind of different brand collection videos you guys want to see. I have seen the Fendi one, so I am going to get onto that. And besides that, hit the subscribe button if you guys want to come and catch up with me again, as well as the bell button to get notified for my next video. And until next time, see you guys soon.